I'm back again with these BMW M4 turbos. We finished them up. The shaft broke in half in two different places. I mentioned, mentioned before that I thought the issue was the wastegate adjustment, but I was definitely wrong about that. And the way I know about I was wrong because I took the actuator and took the lever and the lever was able to move so the wastegate would open farther. If you haven't seen the part one video, go ahead and watch that so you know what we're dealing with and you could see what happened when I first got these. Actually, that was the second time. The time we're rebuilding them now, this is the second time that we are rebuilding them. The first time, they weren't in that bad a condition. This second time, the shaft broke in half. We had to replace the bearing housing, which was actually partially my fault. This one on the left is the one that we did the rebuild on again and we had to replace the whole cartridge so i replaced that compressor wheel i had to sand on that inlet and clean all the old wheel off of there so you can't even tell that that happened on the compressor side very easily this is just the other one it didn't have a failure or anything but we just went through and rebuilt it again anyway this only had dyno time on both of these. So there's the turbine shaft. We had to put a new one of those in there. And it did rub into the turbine housing some. So I just cleaned that up with a sandpaper wheel. Got all the old turbine that was stuck on there off. And just kind of cleaned it up a bit best I could. It turned out a lot better than it was. Now here's the wastegate that I was talking about. See how far it is open. But before, when I looked at these, it was in like a really closed position. And I just kind of assumed that maybe his adjustment wasn't right. But I was actually wrong about that. I went over to it and pulled it out and realized that it does have more adjustment out than what I thought it did. See, so you can see it move. It goes out all, all that way. So... I was wrong about that, most likely. I mean, there is that adjustment there. I don't know how you're supposed to make that work and stuff, so I'm just going to leave that up to him. But the way it is right now, that would be plenty far open anyway. Or at least it has the capability. The ring housing that I used, it was from a Subaru. We had to take the side of it where it had plugs in there and we had to machine those holes out. Went over it with the boring bar to get it even so it would make a good fit for the O-rings. We threaded a hole there and one of my employees accidentally messed that up so we ended up having to helicoil that. And we had to end up sleeving that because one of my employees messed that part up. <laughs> So uh, I ended up making the sleeve, pressing it that in and redoing that. I try to get them to do simple stuff that I think that they can handle, but sometimes I think that I underestimate their skill level. On this side, we had to machine this. It was a threaded hole. We machined it on that first size and then the second size down in there. And then we did a chamfer on top. This is a piece that was just steel round. I machined that down. And then we had to weld, or I welded it, I had to weld that to the bearing housing. And you got to make sure that's really clean because you don't want any porosity in there. Then on this side, it has threaded holes, so I'm just putting plugs in there. It's a 12 millimeter by 1.25, so I had to put plugs in there. I'm waiting on the second one to get here. So that's what the bearing housing looks like after we remade it. And I had other issues too. Uh, so I was getting my employee to tap this hole and he went, he pushed or forced the tap too far or too hard, I guess too far. Anyway, the tap broke off in there and usually I can punch the tap to try to get the tap to break. Well, the tap wasn't breaking and I was kind of surprised about that. And then we ended up breaking the side of the bearing housing where rear seal goes into so we end up having to sleeve the back of the rear seal on this bearing housing as well this is a total disaster but we got it all fixed now you know i thought to myself if i just did the whole job myself uh it probably would have been faster than paying people to try to do this job 
But at the same time, uh, when you have employees and stuff and you're trying to get people up to speed on how to do certain things, you gotta mess up a bunch of stuff to learn. As far as the failure on this, what I am thinking happened, uh, well, this is where I can analyze from all this stuff. Like if this was like a overtime failure, which there wasn't much time on these anyway, I would have expected all this to be black, but because it wasn't like all black, it looks like the shaft just suddenly broke. And the reason for that is I would think that it most likely surged or the other possibility is if the shaft was weak or something for some reason. I don't know which one it is. I mean, the shaft broke in two different spots. That's like really unusual. Yeah, I don't usually see it break there either. A way that that could have happened if this was all in good condition is the possibility that if he didn't have a blow off valve or if the blow off valve spring was so tight that it didn't blow off like it should release the pressure. If that happened, it's because this turbo, like on the engine, you're revving it out high, it's at max boost. And when you let off the throttle, it should release that pressure, pressure through the blow off valve. Well, if it doesn't do that, if you don't have a blow off valve at all on the car, that pressure is just putting a lot of pressure on those fins on this compressor wheel and that can break the fins off. When it starts putting pressure on this side of the wheel, it could also break the shaft in half. That's a theory, I don't know. I don't know this guy's whole setup or anything, but I can only make predictions of what I think happened. We spent a lot of time, well I spent most of my time fixing all these problems or all these mistakes that we made or I made or we both made or we made together and I'm just glad that that's all over with. This one was just a simple rebuild because it never needed a rebuild after I rebuilt it the first time I think. Went back through that thing and replaced all the parts so it's all like new again. There still is this damage right here. I just took a porting tool and trimmed that up. That's 